Hey there, Ryan here, Silly Reviews. I would like to help you out if you are looking for a way to make a bootable USB and you've come across the Bellina Etcher option. It's either that or Rufio, right? Rufus, not Rufio, Rufus. But uh, I had never heard of Bellina Etcher before, but it was the first one recommended when I did a new install of uh, Linux Mint. Linux, Linux, Linux Mint on a laptop and I had troubles installing it and at this point I've kind of learned well it's because I'm on when I'm using the laptop that is a Windows 8.1 machine there will be some software that no longer works with it it's been updated so many years now they have antiquated 8.1 it happens more and more but a simple reddit search Google search you would think you'll get the answer quickly and it took me quite a while to find a version of the software that will work with 8.1 but it's still out there when you go to the Bellina site you'll probably find it if you have been searching like I did you'll find the site with Google searches right well when you're using Google searches it'll bring you to a support page with an answer and it tells you or someone recommended oh use this version right but the version has a high number and it does not exist it doesn't exist but what you need just getting right to it if you want to use Bellina Etcher on your Windows 8.1 you're gonna have to get the portable version so you're gonna go to portable apps but if you just do a search uh, Bellina Etcher or Bellina portable Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 it will bring you to this page and it's gonna be kinda of small text you don't want to download this version because this version right here is version 1.19.21 which is the most recent portable version at the time of this video that's not what you're going to use that will not work either you have to kinda of scroll down and find the legacy and if you search the page search the page look down here at download details you'll see the legacy download so and, and it's not bold or colored or underlined in a way where you realize these are clickable links but they are and you'll see here Windows 10 32-bit and Windows 8 8.1 it's version 1.8.11 and if you're still hanging tough with Windows 7 what you need is the portable version 1.7.9 so for me for Windows 8.1 on that particular machine this is the download link and it downloaded and it loaded up installed and it worked I was able to make a bootable USB for Linux Mint and it went perfectly I really like it Rufus has some different features but Bellina is like click click done really awesome that's that's a software I'll be using for bootable USBs from from now on unless I run into something it can't do and if you have any information that will help if you want to share your story where you've been dealing it with a similar situation I'd love to read that in the comments otherwise then I'll just see you on another video